Well, kick off your shoes, pour yourself a nice tall glass of your favorite cold beverage, and let's go to the beach together. Whether or not you live by water, let's bring that coastal vibe inside our homes with some of these extra easy, budget-friendly, coastal DIY decor ideas. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. Today I have eight nautical DIY decor ideas for you and they range from extremely simple to just a little bit more complicated. So there's something here for every crafting skill level. Let's start by making a faux sandcastle that will last you all summer long. Pick up one of these castle buckets from Dollar Tree. You'll find these in the outdoor beach section. You'll wanna remove those handles and then you'll just wanna cut off the little knobs that the handles were attached to. Next, get out your sandpaper and scrub off that shiny finish. We are gonna be spray painting these. So to make that paint adhere, we need to remove the shiny glossy finish. Next, we'll create a high-end pedestal for our beautiful little sandcastle. And we're using two of these floating shelves. Now, you'll notice there's a lip on each one that needs to be cut off so that they can lay flush with each other. I'm just sanding that lip area, and then we'll be attaching them to each other with a Gorilla Glue as well as glue gun. I did bind these together and then just allow it to dry overnight so it's a really secure hold. Once again, we'll be spray painting that pedestal, so you'll want to make sure and sand off the shiny finish. If you're new to Skip to My Life, welcome. I am so glad that we found each other. We have a lot of fun here in this community. We try to encourage and support one another and leave positive comments about what we're up to. So now it is time to upscale these humble little pieces into a masterpiece. And I'm gonna start by priming them with white paint, that 2X Rust-Oleum, and then I'm going to go back with some spackle and fill in the cracks and the holes. Now, I love Dollar Tree spackle. It's very cost-effective, and it works wonderfully. I always start by using a tool for spackling, but I end up just using my fingers because I find that I can really get into those cracks and crevices a little bit better. Welcome back to all those of you who have been with me for a while. Let me know if you are planning any kind of a water vacation. It could be the ocean, a lake, a water park. Comment below and let me know. Now this next step is what's really going to transform these humble pieces into a beautiful masterpiece. And it's the Rust-Oleum Textured Paint in Desert Bisque. This spray paint makes all the difference in transforming these pieces into the real look of a sandcastle. So next we're going to glue gun that sandcastle to the base, and then I'm just gonna go around and fill that little gap with some jute rope. Now you'll see why next, we're actually gonna be attaching something to that rope. I purchased this bag of seashells from Dollar Tree and I was really surprised with the generous size and amount. So I started by gluing the largest seashells all the way around the perimeter of that base. And then I went back and filled in the gaps with the smaller seashells. Dollar Tree has some really adorable twinkle lights for summer. I decided on the Sea Star twinkle lights and I started by gluing the battery pack just with a little bit of glue gun to the back of our sandcastle where it will not show. Then I lightly glued the strand around the base of that sandcastle and here is a finished product. I could not be happier.
if you're looking for a really easy, really inexpensive little seaside decor item, pick up one of the candles from Dollar Tree. Now they are carrying some beautiful colors, especially blue nautical colors. I decided on this sea foam blue color pillar candle. The plastic label is really easy to remove. And then you'll just need some of the white nautical rope and some kind of a charm or wooden piece. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I do not know where I got this little plastic silver seashell. It was either from a candle or from another Dollar Tree product. If you know, if you have seen this, comment below and let me know where I might have found it. I honestly keep a stash of all these little trinkets for projects just like this one. My husband and I have recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny three bedroom love cottage after our kids were grown and flown. And let me tell you, making this episode made my heart so happy because it brought back all those memories of vacations with our children when they were young. I love this simple little coastal DIY decor and you can make them in all different colors or give them as gifts. Next, we're going to leave the beachy vibe behind and go more with the nautical colors. And I'm gonna start with these Christmas ornaments that I got after Christmas and I have just had them in my stash. So I am gonna paint them all this seaside blue color. Comment below and let me know if you found a candle that you love for summer. I am really enjoying Pink Shores from Bath and Body Works. It has a light and beautiful little airy fragrance. After I've painted all of those Christmas tree ornaments with the nautical blue, now this is just latex paint, I'm going back in with some white Waverly chalk paint and ivory and then some red chalk paint. Now this was so much fun because I just made up my own little nautical patterns. This does not have to be perfect. It's supposed to look like it's been weathered and used. So just let your creativeness shine. If you have a child or grandchild, this would be a wonderful project to do with them. We'll make these look more like bobbers and less like Christmas tree ornaments by covering up that little hole with some jute twine that I just glue gunned onto the top. And lastly, I'm going to go back and distress each one of them by painting on just a little bit of dry brush white chalk paint. Now this is completely up to you. I tend to like a more worn and weather look on objects like these, but some of you may wanna be really precise and make them look brand new. So this is the fun of it. You can personalize it to yourself and your decor. Make sure and keep watching because I'm going to put several of these projects together in one really outstanding nautical centerpiece. This next project is super simple and so much fun. You'll just wanna start by picking up a couple packages of dryer balls from Dollar Tree. Next, we'll use our Waverly chalk paint and ivory and just go through with a white brushed paintbrush and fill in all those little cracks and crevices to transform these from plastic dryer balls to adorable little sea urchins. Make sure you keep watching because I'm gonna show you how to use several of these projects together to make a really high-end nautical centerpiece. If you're having fun watching so far, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. For this next project, we're going to transform a giant sized cheese ball plastic container. Yeah, you can find these at Sam's or Costco. You may even have one in your recycle bin. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove the label. Next, we'll give this plastic jar the look of weathered glass by using regular old school glue and just wiping that across the surface of the whole jar. 
Now, the cheaper this cool glue you use, the more this effect is gonna look antique. So for that reason, I love the Dollar Tree school glue. Next, we're going to add some dimension by spray painting the bottom of the plastic container once the glue is dry, both with white spray paint and also that textured paint that I used on the sandcastle. Next, I used a fishing net from Dollar Tree. Now these come in green and just a rope color, and I chose the rope color. You may like green better, that's up to you. You could also use this ombre tote bag that Dollar Tree is carrying for this next step. You'll wanna take your time and lay out this rope netting, and then we're going to cut it to fit the size of that jar. When our kids were school age, we were so blessed to be able to take a beach vacation many, many summers. And as a result, we have so many great memories. We just didn't plan anything. We would just be together as a family and spend a lot of time in nature. And I am so glad we did that. As you can see, I'm just taking my time and attaching the netting with glue gun to the sides of that plastic jar. Now you don't need much glue at all. This is just to guide and keep it in place. Next, we'll add a rope handle by simply gluing a piece of that jute rope to the top of the jar. And I did hold it in place with some anchors just to make sure that it held tight. And now we're gonna take more of our nautical jute rope and go around the lip of that jar. If you know just how important your feedback is to me, just taking one second to click that thumbs up like button really lets me know what content you want me to spend more time creating. And it also helps YouTube to know that you all are interacting with me and that we are forming a really special community here. I love to upcycle recyclable items like this plastic jar, but let me be honest, it did use up a lot of hot glue. So that is one expense. If you don't have a lot of hot glue cartridges, you will need to stock up for this project. Now next, we're going to give the effect of sand in the bottom of this giant jar, and I'm doing that by inserting some pool noodles and then just tucking in a white paint tarp. And for the finishing touch, I just printed off a graphic from online. You can Google nautical images. I ended up creating this one on canva.com. It is very simple to use if you've never tried canva.com. I encourage you to go on the website and just play around creating some graphics. I tucked some sea glass from Dollar Tree into our fake sand. And then next, to finish this project off, we are gonna be adding all those fun little creations we made. Now, I'm adding the nautical balls and the sea urchins, but once I had done that, I felt like something is missing, and I wonder if you can decide what it is. Every seaside fisherman knows that seaweed covers everything, so I decided to add some greenery to this jar by just taking some little vines that I had in my stash and glue gunning them around, and I think that this really makes all the difference. This would make a beautiful centerpiece for a luncheon or if you are doing a children's program or you have a nautical theme for a party, this would really be the talk of the party. Next is a really simple but really fun project. We're going to make some starfish napkin rings using these wooden forms from Dollar Tree's new coastal collection, as well as some wooden beads that I had in my stash. Now I wanted them to be stained a little darker, so I just dropped them in a pot of coffee overnight, and this was the effect. 
I'm going to fill the little hole at the top by using some of Dollar Tree spackling and then to hold that in on one side, I'll add a tiny little drop of glue gun glue. Next, I'm painting both sides and the edges of those starfish with our Waverly chalk paint in ivory. And while those starfish are drying, we're going to make up our napkin rings. Now for each napkin ring, you will need a clear or white zip tie and eight beads. And you're simply going to string those on to that tie and tie it tightly together. Now this is a great way to make quick and easy napkin rings with or without the star or for any season or occasion. For this project, I added some gold glitter to the Z stars and then once all that was dry, I simply glued them onto the nub of that zip tie and let them dry. Now you may need some glue gun on the underside as well depending on the shape and the size of your beads. These turned out so adorable and I feel like I could use them not only for a summer seaside decor, but also for Christmas entertaining. This next project uses the rolls of Dollar Tree fabric. Now this is not a lot of fabric that you're getting from Dollar Tree, but I have actually done this many times, both for my own dogs and for my kids' pets. And all you're gonna do is touch corners of that fabric and cut along to make two large scarves for your pet. Now if you have a smaller pet, you can actually get four scarves out of this one piece of fabric, and then you'll have this long piece left for another project. And here are my long-haired dachshunds, Bella and Franklin. My husband was helping me pose them so they didn't jump around too much, but yes, they put up with all my crazy ideas. And I did want to show you some more of this coastal decor at Dollar Tree. They have really knocked it out of the park this summer with all these coastal designs. If you've been to a decor store lately, you know that seashore art is all the rage, but it can be really costly. So we're just gonna take a dollar card from Dollar Tree this could be from any store. It could even be from packaging or gift wrap. And we're going to simply cut it to fit this little frame, insert it in the frame, and voila, you have a beautiful decorative piece for pennies. Now I do wanna recommend this Dollar Tree glass foam cleaner. If you see it, snap it up because it's a favorite and it goes quickly. It works wonderfully for cleaning projects like these. If you loved this coastal decor theme, you're also gonna wanna watch my patriotic theme outdoor decor. So click on that link next. Until we see each other next time, do not forget, today's not the end of your story, my friend. So keep plugging along. Until next time, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. <music>